So microscopy is looking at small objects. Uh, and if you're looking at something that's, say, the size of a, a hair, you can use light. If you want to look at something that's smaller than the hair width, you need to use an electron microscope. So the university has several different electron microscopes. Uh, it's got a couple of them up at Forrester Hill and the Institute of Medical Sciences. Uh, and we've got this one down at King's College. And this is the ACEMAC facility, the uh, Aberdeen Center for Electron Microscopy Analysis and Characterization. Uh, we have a very high percentage of our users being PhD students and also master's research students. But we also have students doing undergraduate projects on the instruments. Uh, we bring students down here for demonstrations. One of the great things about this new facility is that because everything is digital these days, uh, we can project the images that were on, this, on these screens up in the lecture theatres, uh, so in Meston 1 or Fraser Noble, wherever it is around the university. Uh, and I can teach a class of 200 people uh, to time how to use an electron microscope as if they were down here one to one. Uh, I'm Lucy, I'm a final year geology and petroleum geology student. I had the opportunity recently this summer, just after the SEM was bought, to use it in a Carnegie Vacation Scholarship internship. So this is where I designed and built a thermal hot spring to grow rocks out of water to see what happened to them when they're really, really, really hot. From this, we managed to image these down to the nano scale, which is very interesting to see what's going on at these high temperatures and such a small scale. And from that, we discovered some things about the crystal geometries of these, of these polymorphs. If you were studying geology and petroleum geology as a BSc, uh, you would have some of this electron microscopy in your degree. Uh, if you are studying, for example, archaeology or geography, you could also get to use this electron microscope or engineering or chemistry or biology. Anybody who has some electron microscopy in their degree at Aberdeen would have some contact with this facility. My name is Morvan McAllister and I'm in my fourth year of the Geology and Petroleum Geology BSc here at Aberdeen University. It's fantastic that we have this new facility so we'll be able to build on including more electron microscopy for future years in the degree course. At the top part of the instrument we have the electron gun which supplies electrons uh, which are used for producing images of samples. Here we have the sample chamber um, it, which is under high vacuum and we have samples um, set up in it and we can see an internal image of the uh, chamber here showing a number of samples ready for imaging. We have different detectors bolted on to the outside of the uh, instrument and they can allow us to produce images of the sample but as well as imaging we can also do some analysis with this SEM and uh, we have an x-ray detector here which gives us information about sample composition and uh, we also have a detector here called electron by scatter diffraction detector which will give us information about the crystal structure of samples as well. So I use an electron microscope personally for looking at limestones that form in streams and I'm interested in the processes that cause that limestone to form. I'm interested in the interactions between the biological world and the geological world and to see those processes happening I need to look at the nanoscale so I have to use an electron microscope. There are other people in engineering for example who are interested in metal corrosion and they would use this to look at the, the composition of the steel that they're looking at and also the corrosion of the steel. Uh, there would be other geologists who are interested in sandstones and sandstone porosity and how that porosity gets filled up and whether it's available for oil to, to charge reservoirs. Uh, so there are multiple uses of this facility.